Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to remove the comma from a number field in Salesforce. And we are going to discuss this topic for both Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic experience. So let's proceed and learn how we remove the comma from the number field. So if you want to remove the comma from the number field in Salesforce, we have to use the text function. So let's proceed and learn to see how we you remove the comma from the number field in Salesforce Lightning experience first. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is in a Lightning experience. If you are not in a Lightning one, firstly shift to this. After that you have to move to the main home page setup of the Salesforce Lightning experience and here you will get an option of a object manager. So click on this one and you will get the list of all the objects that are available in Salesforce. Now it's time to choose the object from which you want to remove the comma from the number field. So here I choose the count as object for this. Then I click on this fields and relationship option that is on our left side and from here I will get the field and relationship options and on the right top side I get an option of a new field. So I click on this one as we are going to create a new field for creating the formula that removes the comma from the number field and now it shows me the field types that are available in Salesforce. Now it's time to choose the field type. So here I choose the formula one as I am going to create the formula that removes the comma from the number field by using some Salesforce function. Then I click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now in this step I have to give the field label. So here I set the field label as an employee number no comma. So when I click on this field name, it shows me that it automatically populated. Now I scroll down and here it's time to choose the formula return type. I choose the text as the return type for the field. As I am going to use the text function for removing the comma from the number field. So that's why I use the text as a return type. So now as I click on the next, it asks me to enter the formula. So here I am going to enter the formula by using the text function. And on the right side, I have a function section. I choose the category as a text. And from this text category, I choose the text function. I click on this insert selected function and I change this value with the field that I needed. I need the field as a number of employees. This is employees. I click on it. It shows me the number of employees. Now basically this formula use the text function that convert the past number data type field to the text format and remove the commas from the number of fields from the number fields. Then I click on this check syntax button that checks that whether this formula have any error. So there is no syntax error. If you want to add description head text, you can add. You can even handle the blank fields. After that, I click on the next button to proceed to the next step. And in this step, I have to set up the field level security. Uh, in this, you have to choose the profile to whom you want to grant this edit access of this field. So I want to give the access to all the fields. I click on this visible checkbox and click on the next button to proceed ahead. Now in this step, I have to choose the page layout in which I want to add this field. So I choose all the page layout of the account subject and click on the save button to save this process. Now it's time to check whether it works or not. I click on the app launcher and from the app launcher, I search for the accounts. So here I click on the accounts and here I get the list of all the accounts that are available in Salesforce or that are by default created or created by you. So here I choose the random account and from this random account, I move to this detail section. And from here, you can see that here is the employee with no comma field, which shows you as a 2436, which is get up from this employees, which is as a 2 comma 436 which means 2436 and it removes the comma and shows the only simple as 2436. So with this we have learned to remove the comma from the number field in a Salesforce Lightning. Now we will learn this process for the classic one. So I click on my profile and from here I get the option of a switch to a Salesforce classic. 
I click on this option and I move to the classic edition. Now from here I click on the setup that is located on the top and from here I move to the build section. Now from this build section you have to click on this customize option and from this customize option you have to choose the object in which you want to apply this formula for removing the comma from the number field. So here I choose the products for this one and from here I click on the fields option as we are going to create a new field for applying this formula. So now here I scroll down and here I get option of a new button that is located in a product custom fields and relationship format. So I click on this new one as we are going to create a new button, new field for this. So now I click on this formula radio button as I am going to choose the field type as a formula because I am going to create a formula that removes the comma from the number field. So then I click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now in this step I have to enter the field label which I entered as a product number without comma. So when I click on the field name it automatically get populated. When I scroll down, it's asked me to choose the formula return type as we are going to use the text function for removing the comma from the number field. I choose the return type as a text one. Then I click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now in this step, I have to enter the formula that remove the comma from the product number. So for this, I move to the right hand side of the page from here. I choose the text as a function category from the function section and from here I choose the text as a function. I click on this text function and click on this insert selected function. It adds a function on the advanced formula box and I remove this value. I click on this insert field option and from here I insert the field with the name product number. So here I enter the field. Now I click on this check syntax option that checks whether there is any error in this syntax or not. So there is no error. Then I move to the description and help text option. If you want to add, you can add it. I rem remain this field as it is. You can even handle this blank fields if you want. And then you have to click on the next button to move to the next step. So before moving to the next step, I explain you this formula. Basically here I am using the text function that converts the past number data type to the text format here the that the number that I passed is a product number this is a custom field that is with the number field type so it removes the comma from the number field type because I convert this thing to the text format now I click on the next and proceed to the next step and here we have to set up the field level security basically this field level security give the access to the profiles uh, to edit this field. So if you want to give the edit access to all the profiles, you have to click on this visible uh, checkbox. Either you can give some of them the edit access. So I give to the all and click on the next button to move to the next step. Now this time you have to choose the page layout in which you want to add this field. So I choose the product page layout and click on the save button to save this process. So with this we have successfully created a new formula field that removes the comma from the number field type. So now I click on this plus icon to check that whether this function works or not. From here I choose the product object. And I click on this product object from here I randomly choose up the product and uh, here I click on the edit option and here I enter the product number and click on the save option. So now you can see that here the product number is as a 789,563,612.0 but when it converted to the decimal one it shows you like that 789,563,612 without any comma and the decimal point. So with this we have learned to remove the comma from the number field in a salesforce classic also. So if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.